Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get to say that quite often. But today is Friday, so we know what that means. Everybody's been uh, likely to a target or two uh, this morning, and hopefully you all did well. I did not do that well. Um, I ended up at the first store with a leaf blaster. Um, I'm almost embarrassed to say that. And a Hidden Fates tin. So that was not a good use of my time this morning. However, um, and the reason for this video, I happened to run into a different target and came across this guy. So I only got one. Um, the the guys that were there before me cleared out everything except for one, but uh, they were they were nice enough to leave me one. And yeah, I'm really curious what's in it. Um, I've seen one rip of the retail. I've seen a. Um, I think there's one guy that has a blaster. He ripped a blaster and two cellos. Um, and yeah, so it says find one silver per box on average. But um, according to the rips that we saw, or you know that I saw, that is not actually true. That must be a misprint, uh, unless Panini is for whatever reason considering this value back a box, uh, which it is not. So it's actually one silver per pack, um, which I think is a good value. And I believe there was a lot of rookies as well. So let's see what we can get. Pretty excited. I've been waiting for select. Um, you know, this is the first time it's it's hit retail. Um, you all can leave in the comments whether you think it devalues the brand of select or not, being that it was hobby only prior to this. And now that, um, you know, it's in retail. Some few people feel like it's diluting the product, um, but let's let's see. You know, because I, I rip more retail more retail than I do hobbies. So if um, let's see if this is a good buy. All right. So we got Gabriel Davis on the front. I'm gonna throw it on a sleeve just so I can stack up the rookies. So we got a nice Gabriel Davis. Another one. James Conner. Love the look of these cards. They're very ornate is the wor descriptive word I would give them. Darrell Taylor. Kind of sucks to see uh, Combine. Or not Combine, uh, College Unis in this. Got a Clyde Edwards Elaire. Nice rookie. Aaron Rodgers. Man on the cover. Someone got offended last time I called him Old Man Rogers, so let's call him Mr. Rogers. Um, he's just as old as me, so I can call him old if I want. Zach Moss. Damon Arnett. Isaiah Wilson. Look how many rookies there are. This is crazy. Rugs, turbocharged. The Accused. Deshaun Watson. Stole that from uh, stole that from uh, Blaze, Chris Carter. Well, I haven't seen that name in a while. Joe Burrow, turbocharged silver. Is that a big card? I would say that's a boom. Um, let me put this down and sleeve that up. So is that is there non-silver versions of turbocharged? I don't know the select product well enough to know whether that's a huge card or not. Pretty good looking card there. Underneath that we have Jake from State Farm. Uh, looks like a Jake from State Farm silver. So man, two silver QBs, one being an insert and one being a base silver. That is a uh, much more forgiving than Prism, I can tell you that. So here goes the uh, Jake from State Farm Silver. Got Mr. Saquon. Hopefully he has a big year next year. And in the back, we got Antonio Gibson. So um, how many rookies do we get? We've got quite a few rookies. Um, abnormal amount of rookies 
So if there's actually this many rookies um, in each cello pack, uh, I mean, there's different versions, you know, field level, etc., of each rookie card. So I guess there's four levels to each rookie. So I don't, I mean, there's a club level. I don't know if you can get field level. That was one question I got. Um, so there's a club level. So I believe this is the second to highest. So there's four levels. There's concourse. Um, what is the other one? Concourse. Premier. Yeah, so this is premier. Um, then club and then field. Yeah, so I guess there is a, a base, a base turbocharger as well, because this one is not a hollow. So this is exciting. This is a, this is an exciting product. I I love this. Um, now where would I rank it? Um, I mean, just looking at this one pack and how much stuff came out of it. As far as like having fun ripping it, I rank this above Prism because uh, Prism was extremely tough. Now. Prism being extremely tough also means that the cards were valuable because they were hard to get. So the amount of rookies and stuff that are coming out of this make me feel like, okay, there's going to be a lot more volume, meaning they're not as rare, assuming the print run for Select is the same as Prism or similar to Prism. Um, that would lead me to believe that the, the cards are less valuable, but I guess since there's four different types... Maybe you might see the same player a lot, but the card is actually different. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, clearly, I feel like it does bring down the brand image a little bit, at least in my personal opinion. Uh, that's something that can be debated. Um, we'll see what happens to the value of the cards and the base cards on the secondary market. Um, I mean, even like select hobby on its own already has a lot of stuff in it i feel like you you're seeing a bunch of top five qbs in every box because there's so many different versions of each player as we've already discussed so i don't know i'm not sure um you know i mean i don't think there's tie dyes or anything in here that would be kind of cool i have been, heard a rumor that there might be zebras in here um which would kind of be similar to let's say a downtown an optic kind of like a super short print um you're not going to see them possibly at all um in your personal rips but someone someone's going to hit it um and so that just the chance of that is pretty cool um but it probably does devalue um does devalue the hobby cards or the cards that came out of hobby so i think it's a fun product i'm going to go for as much as i can um and try to try to collect my Ayukes and things. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you know it. It was a. It was not looking that promising after I left the first store, and to kind of happen upon a uh, cello pack of select, you know, before I even know that it's even available, is pretty sweet. So thank you to uh, the person that gave me the tip. On where to go and uh i do owe you one for that and yeah these are 10 bucks 15 cards let's count out how many rookies we've got here base rookies one two three four five six seven eight or well the silver uh, could have been a not rookie so eight including the silver and then with the two um the two inserts, nine, ten. So, so uh, have a happy Friday. And I hope you are relaxing more so than working. But um, if you're working, hopefully uh, this takes your mind off a few things for a few minutes. And have a great weekend ahead. And we'll see you guys next time.